Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw Hagrid from Harry Potter. I hope you're excited and you're gonna follow along with me. You got a marker and some paper. If I ever go too fast during this lesson, remember you can always pause the video to take extra time to finish a step. We're first gonna start by drawing Hagrid's eyes. We're gonna draw them right in the middle of our paper but towards the top so that we have room for his body. We're gonna draw two circles. We're gonna draw them about this size. I'm gonna draw another one over here. Now inside of these circles, I'm going to draw a smaller circle in the top left. Now we're going to draw another circle inside, but we're going to draw it behind the first one. So I'm going to follow around, but we're only going to draw part of it since it's behind the light reflecting in his eyes. This makes his eyes look shiny. So this is the pupil we're drawing. Then we have the light reflection and then his iris that is going around his eyes. Then we could draw another circle that goes around the whole thing. This is for the white part and his eyes. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Now we can color in the small circle, the pupil, inside of his eyes. And I know it's a lot of circles. So remember, you can pause the video to take that time to finish all of these steps. Now let's draw his eyebrows. We're going to draw a curve over each eye, just like that. Then we're going to make his eyebrows thicker and we're going to draw a curve that goes around the top, comes back down and connects to the other side. And we'll repeat that same shape over here on the side. Kind of look like jelly beans. Now we could draw a small curve in between his eyes for his nose. Now let's draw his face. And we're also going to draw the top part of his mustache and his beard. So we're going to start right here next to his eyebrow, come down under his eyes, go back up towards his nose, back down under his eyes, and then up <laughs> close to his eyebrow. <laughs> That's a fun line to draw. Now let's draw his mouth. First going to draw the shape for his mustache. So we're going to draw an upside down U. Then let's connect the bottom. And then we can also draw his smile inside of this. So I'm going to draw a curve just inside. Cool. All right, it's already starting to look like him. Now let's finish his beard. We're going to draw two lines. We're going to draw one on each side that comes down. We're going to start right next to his eye and then curve out. Now let's draw the bottom of his beard. I'm going to draw a curve that goes down and then down again back up and then curve into the right side. Now let's draw the top of his head. We're going to draw one curve that comes in over his eyebrow. Now we're going to draw another one and repeat that same shape on the right side. Now we can connect these two lines with another curve in front of his forehead. Now we're going to draw the top of his head. We're going to start right next to this curve right here, we're going to start, we're going to curve up. Now we're going to draw a bigger curve right in the middle. And then another curve that matches the left side. Now if you need to, you can pause the video to take time to finish that step. But we have two small curves on each side and then a big curve right in the middle. That's for the top of his hair. Now let's draw the hair coming down and then connecting into his beard. So let's draw one curve that comes out and back in. And we can repeat that curve over here on this side. Then let's draw another curve that comes out further on each side. And then we can connect it into his beard. So I'm going to curve around and then draw a wavy line that comes in. And we'll do the same thing over here. Draw a wavy line that comes into his beard. All right, we did it. We finished his head and his hair. He's got a lot of hair and a huge beard. He looks awesome. Now we're going to draw his body. We're going to draw two lines that come down from his beard. So I'm going to draw him. He's, we're going to draw him kind of wide. So we're going to draw him far apart. Now see at the bottom of these lines, they flare out. So they're further apart down here at the bottom. Now let's draw two more lines and we're going to draw them closer to the middle of his body. This is for his coat, his big overcoat. Now down here, we're going to connect 
these two lines, and we're gonna connect these two over here on the left side also. Next, let's draw a diagonal line for the collar on his jacket, and we'll draw a diagonal line over here on this side too. Now let's draw a shirt. I'm gonna draw a line that comes straight across. Then we can draw his belt. Now we're gonna draw two more lines higher up on his body, right where his waist would be. Then we could draw two more lines going right down the middle for his belt buckle. Now let's finish the details on his shirt. I'm gonna draw a Y. I'm gonna draw the letter V first, and then we'll draw a line straight down to turn it into a Y. And we can imagine that line going behind his belt and coming down the bottom of his shirt. Next, we could add two buttons on this shirt. Next, let's draw his legs. I'm gonna draw two lines coming out of the bottom of his shirt. I'm gonna draw these just a little longer so that we have room for his shoes or his boots. Now let's turn this into the letter L. I'm gonna draw a line that comes out. And then on this side, we could draw a line going the other direction. That's for the bottom of his shoes. Next, let's draw his pants. Let's start right here where his coat is, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes in and connects to that center line. And let's repeat that shape over here also. Draw a curve that comes in and connects to the center line. And then we can finish his boot connecting into his legs on each side. All right, we did it. We finished his legs and also his shirt and his body, except he's missing his arms. Let's draw a line that comes down and then back in for his sleeve. And repeat that over here on the right side. Down and then back in. And we can't forget his hands, so we're just gonna draw a simple curve, comes out of his sleeve and connects to his body. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this side. All right, we did it. We finished drawing Hagrid. Turned out awesome, except he's gonna look so much better once we color him. Now this part I'm gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause it to match the same color. take time to color your drawings also. Now I used a bunch of different browns to color his beard, his jacket, and also his shirt and pants. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me in drawing Hagrid. Remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like mine. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. I will see you later, our friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.